Hey guys, it's a girl Puri and welcome back to my channel. One, two, three, let's go! title that today I am going to be talking about LASIK surgery uh, so I do not want to waste any time because I just I, I think this video is going to be a little long so let me just get to the point uh, so basically I had specs since sixth grade yeah um, I still remember uh, when the doctor like <laughs> told my mom that you know I need specs and all I was so happy for some reason I don't know for some reason it just uh, fascinated me and I was just happy to like I don't know I just thought of it as an accessory and it just made me look a little more like um, in place and uh, I was a very very notorious kid in my school so it just made me look a little bit decent you know so I was pretty happy my number, my power was not that much but uh, the doctor told me that you have to wear it so that you know the power can just go away. I started wearing it and I wore my specs until uh, 10th grade and after 10th I kind of requested my parents that please just give me contact lenses. I, I couldn't bear specs anymore. Also uh, I had these stubborn marks on my nose because of the nose pads and um, it just looked very very ugly when I just I, I take off my glasses and also I had marks around my eyes and um, by 10th uh, I was in a position where I just couldn't see things, far away things. Everything was a blur for me and I needed specs as soon as I got up. Like, you know, it was very, very difficult for me. So, um, it was not that I, could, I just had to wear specs while reading or something. I had to wear specs like entire day until I went to sleep and uh, that was getting a little... Uh, irritating so that's when I started wearing contact lenses. To be honest contact lenses have their own cons. I mean I, I rode every single day to my college and it was a nightmare guys. I'm not even kidding. Like, even if a small little particle would enter my eye I would be so so itchy. I mean I, I can't even I can't even begin to tell you how irritating it is when you have lenses on and something just enters your eye. It's crazy. And literally, I had to stop on the road, get rid of it, you know, uh, just uh, move my lenses a little bit and then go ahead. It was tough for me as well. It was tough for me. And with lens, you have to carry your solution, that case, then an extra pair of specs. So it was pretty tough. But I enjoyed it because obviously I wear colored lenses and I don't know for some reason I just enjoy it uh, of course after that I was tired of lenses as well because uh, there was a time when I'd wear lenses after a couple of hours I'd just get rid of it because um, I don't know my my head would ache way too much I had like my eyes would get my eyes would dry up very very easily and uh, it was getting very very tough to handle it was getting very irritating and uh, there were times when I'd forget my solution or forget my kit and there were times when I had to actually throw away my lenses because I did not have anything to, you know, insert them in. There were times when I would just buy two bottles of water and just insert my lenses in it because it was getting very, very irritating. As I mentioned earlier, my powers, my power was very high, so um, I had to, I had to wear either specs or lens for me to just see something. Um, so that's when uh, I got to know about this LASIK surgery thing. My mom's best friend's daughter had just undergone the LASIK surgery and she was very very happy with it. So that's when me and my mom were like, you know what, let's just go and visit the doctor. Let's just find out what is, it is all about and uh, are my eyes suitable for the operation. Doctor explained us everything. He also had several questions and he answered them very patiently because obviously eyes, they are like very, very delicate and getting them operated, it's like uh, very scary, you know? And I had a lot of questions like, you know, um, probably like, will my eyes dry up or will I get my power back or uh, will I will my eye twitch when you know I am under the sun? Will I be able to you know see it see properly in the night? And there were many questions you know. 
obviously he uh, answered all of them and you know i got all of my answers so i was pretty happy with it so uh, i finally decided that i want to go ahead with the lasik surgery um so basically before the operations uh, the doctor and uh, the doctor gets some tests done uh, your eyes are fully examined uh, he needs to be sure that your eyes are suitable for the surgery uh, for two days i have to go to the doctor and get my eyes uh, tested and uh, after that the doc said that you know uh, we can go ahead with it everything is fine uh, so on the day of operation first things first do not do not go alone please do not go alone please please have your mom dad or whoever you trust with you so that they can support you they can help you and they can just be beside you you know so of course those black uh, glasses you have to compulsorily carry i mean there's no choice of course i think uh, most hospitals or most clinics have them but it's better to carry um so as soon as you enter uh, the the nurse uh, puts in some drops in your eye and for some reason your vision is a little blurry i don't know what it is but a couple of times she puts in these drops and after that you go inside the operation theater the best part about this was that the doctor had already shown me the theater I was pretty aware where i was going to get operated and how is the situation going to be and also i was not that nervous but any which ways i had an idea about it so i was very very mentally prepared um after entering the uh, operation theater the doctor i think he uh, again some drops and anesthesia and my eyes were all numb uh, i couldn't feel a single thing so the operation started and the first thing that the first thing that they do is they they separate your lid in order for you to not blink because it of course needs to be operated um that was tough for me because like your eyes are like wide open you know and that was a tad bit uh you know uh painful but you know you do not feel anything guys you do not feel anything uh but you can see everything and that's the worst part you know um seeing the like watching the surgery being done on yourself is probably the most scary you can literally see someone poking your eye and doing something in it it's 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 a little scary but the best part is you do not feel anything and you have to mentally be very very calm and chilled out uh, although the doctor doctor kept on telling me that chill uh, you know just uh, two minutes left or one minute left it's done and uh, before i could just think about um, crazy things that i was done and he was on the other eye and uh, the operation takes very very little time i think around like what 7 to 10 minutes if i'm not wrong yeah that much um the operation was done and i had to close my eyes and i think the nurse took me into some room and i was there for half an hour and every 15 minutes or 10 minutes she would put in some drops of course you're not supposed to open your eyes but i had to open my eyes i was very uh, curious to see whether i can see I was very curious to know whether I can see something but um I opened my eye for a second and everything was just blurry so I was like you know what um let's not risk it and I rested for half an hour 45 minutes um, after that of course I got up and I had to wear those glasses um that time I could see a little bit but for some reason it was very blurry i was so scared that is that that's the point where i was like oh my god is the operation successful can i really see or what you know because as i told you all earlier i couldn't see anything everything was a blur earlier as well so i was like what is up what is happening um so of course my mom was there with me and of course it was not painful nothing around your eye will be painful it won't feel you won't feel that there has been some operation and uh, that's the best part you know you do not feel there's no pain as such even after the anesthesia goes away there's no pain as such uh, but you cannot drive of course you have to have someone to drive you home and please come in a car or an uber or something because it can lead to infection and inflammation and all of that and you've spent so much on the surgery you do not want to risk it so please make sure that you take care of yourself and your eyes as as much as you can you cannot watch tv you cannot use your phone you cannot be anywhere around the uh, you know fire like of course you cannot be cooking and all that you cannot trouble your eyes. is in any way and please follow these rules um and do not try to get away with it because uh, um i don't know it it will be bad eyes of course you cannot risk your eyes 
whatsoever. Um, and they gave uh, the doctor prescribed a few drops that I had to, you know, put in after like. 15 20 minutes or something it would burn a tad and my vision would always get blurry and i i was all there was one thing that was going on in my mind is like is it successful is it successful but after two days oh my god i could see guys i could see oh my god that was the best moment of my life in my imagine for years you have to have to have something in your eyes or something over your eyes to see and now you do not like that moment was magical and i was so 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 happy guys i cannot even begin to tell you that oh my god but yeah that 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 time i i was like sure that of course um you know it's done and it's it's successful it's happening and i was very happy after two weeks or one and a half week you have to again visit the doctor for him to kind of check whether everything is perfect after that i think after two months you have to go and again visit the doctor for him to again you know check up and all uh but um two to three weeks you have to be very strict please eat your food properly like you know do not uh ignore your health do not do not break any rules just relax the, and please please undergo this operation only when you have time in your hands please do not think that operation ho gaya ek hafte mein you can do everything no please give your give yourself two to three weeks to actually recover properly and get back to your normal routine because it's not that easy uh about the pain there was no pain at all for me definitely there was no pain i did not feel anything there were no side effects so if you think that you know after the operation dard hoga ya you know कुछ भी होगा तो वैसा कुछ भी नहीं होने वाला तो आप एकदम कूल होके अंदर जा सकते हैं बिंदास जा सकते हैं बिकॉज वैसा कुछ नहीं होने वाला आफ्टर लाइक इट्स बीन फाइव इयर्स सो आई जस्ट लेट यू नो व्हाट हैपन एंड हाउ इट इज एंड एवरीथिंग देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम zero problems guys there's no problem i literally could i started wearing colored lenses as well sometimes it's fun you know at that time also no problem at all no problem of dryness nothing i can literally see properly and drive in the sun i can see in the night of course and uh, it's just like i never had any power like it is just like that i mean i i still can't believe that um I do not need any specs or anything to see, but uh, it's a great experience if you have a lot of power, or even if you want to get rid of your power, then please go ahead with this operation. It is uh, I would highly recommend it. Um, after me, my brother did it. After my brother, my mom did it. Obviously, my mom uh, or like the doctor told that after 25 years she could get her power back because of her age and all. But uh, even she is having no problem. My brother is having no problem. So like I have me and two other examples just to prove to you guys that. everything goes well that's it i guess if you have any questions about it please let me know in the comment section i would love to help you guys i am from pune so if you want to know which doctor i went to and if you want any other help again please let me know in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram whatever because i know it can be really scary that is it for today's video guys i really hope you like the video if you if you want to ask me anything yet again please please let me know you're having a fantastic day today please please have a great weekend and i love you guys so much do not forget to follow me on instagram @quirkypoolri and yes that's it Mwah.